Hi everybody, it's Mark Shelshier. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. And I'd like to talk today about something that many of us as artists have experienced. I know I've experienced it many, many years ago uh, from family and friends and I noticed a comment today so I thought I'd, I'd broach this subject and talk about, you know, the way I dealt with it, talking about the best job in the whole world. Okay friends, I got some questions to ask. First of all, what about the doctor? She doesn't have a practice, she doesn't even have a surgery. But she walks every day through the slums, helping mothers and dealing with sick children. Does she have a job? Isn't that an interesting question? What about the, the minister of religion who has no church, who has no congregation, and yet he spends every day out on the street with street children, helping them get into uh, sheltered care and get into education. Does he have a real job? Isn't that an interesting thought? What about the writer who's very successful and she writes every day in a house, typing away on a computer, putting up manuscripts, has no staff, has no office. She's successful. Does she have a real job? What about the person who works in the radio station and only works three hours a day? Do they have a real job? All these things you see come up because we are often questioned on whether we have a real job. The, the artist can, can come into a situation, especially amongst family and friends, people who love you and care for you and have well-meaning attitudes towards you and you share with them about your art and they, you know, listen and they're polite and they're nice and they say, oh, that's very nice, dear. But do you have, are you going to get a real job? Isn't that, I'm sure you've been asked that question. I've been asked that question. Uh, Mark, uh, when are you going to get a real job? And I used to sit there and brood and go, oh, these people, don't they understand that I have a real job? Until finally I realized that all the brooding and getting upset and arguing with them made no difference. Until I realized this fact, that they are just ignorant. Now, I don't mean ignorant in a bad way, but they don't understand that there's people who earn a living from their arts. And it's up to you and me, it's our responsibility to educate them, to tell them about what we do, not retreat and go, oh, okay, okay, oh, I don't want to talk about this anymore, this is a touchy subject, you know, they don't think I work, here I do, I slave away in my studio, but we don't educate, you see. And most people who have a normal job, nine to five, think that painting is a recreation you do in your pastime. And that's the way they're educated, that they're educated to think that way. They don't think, oh yes, they see Picasso as, as a, a, an artist who works as an artist. Why? Because he's hugely successful and because, you know, the story that goes with it. But, but you, the person they know and love and they've known all their life and you're an artist, uh, well, wouldn't you be better off to go and work? Okay, now, what do you do in this situation? Most times we go quiet. So I have a strategy that you can use if you wish to. Now, you can take it or leave it. It's up to you. But this is what I did. I decided, after being asked this question so many times, especially in family gatherings, where there was many family members and all of them had these nine to five office jobs and worked in, you know, different areas, factories and so forth. And they'd kind of come to me and, and say, Mark, well, what are you doing now, Mark? As if I didn't work. And I'd say, well, you know, I'm painting and then producing work and doing oh really painting when when are you going to get a, a real job you know like us and i used to say this i used to say what do you mean by a real job and that always stops people because then they say oh well well you know you know what you know work in an office or work in a store or you know work in the coffee shop or or you know a laborer's job or something like that oh so you mean something different, a kind of a job that, that you've got to go to, nine to five. Is that what you mean by a job? And I'd always answer you and say, yes, that, that, that's what a real job is. No, that's, no, I would say, no, no, no. I, I have real work. I, I really have real work where I can express my passions, 
I'm helping to build a much better society. I'm bringing joy into the lives of people who have kind of the jobs you're talking about and hate them. And I'm helping them to have joy when they come home. And, you know, I have a calling. I have a real vocation to help change our world and make it a better place. And on top of that, I even get to sell my paintings. So, you know, I'm making a difference. My job is helping society and changing society because I'm an artist. And that's what artists do. I might not go to work nine to five and I might sit in my studio, but I'm helping create a better world. Uh, is your job like that? That's the kind of questions I would ask. And I'd say, well, you know, exp you know, tell me about your job. What's it like? And then they would, you know, kind of not want to talk about this anymore because, well, Mark, he's a little different. He's strange. But when you do that, you begin to educate them. And then afterwards, what happened to me was some of my other relatives would walk up to me and they'd say, Mark, we never saw art like that. We just thought you painted paintings. And I'd say, no, artists are impacting on society. We are part of what is changing society through our art, through our thoughts, through what we are doing. And you educate them. It got to a point where I never got questioned about what I do. I was just an artist. They accepted that and accepted what I did. And you have to, my friends, help educate your family and friends. Don't ignore them. Teach them. They'll learn and they'll come to the place where they respect what you are doing as part of society that you are contributing something amazing to our society and artists do you know artists change the way people perceive things artists change society if artists were gone if there was no more artists the world would be a sadder bleaker place so stand up straight you know Put your shoulders back and realize that you're contributing something amazing to our society and it is your responsibility to educate your family and friends so that they understand the contribution you are making. You are like that doctor. She doesn't have a surgery. She doesn't have a lot of people for appointments. She just walks around the slums and she helps mothers and babies. And she's a real person who does it here in Manila. Isn't that amazing? She has a job and she sees it as a calling and a vocation. Yours is the same, a calling, a vocation. So my friends, no longer stand back and say, mm, why do they say that? Come forward and tell them about what you do, why you do it, how it's changing the world and it is impacting on society. You have a fabulous day. I look forward to the day when you come over and talk to me here in Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila. And friends, get out there and have a great day. And remember to care for people. Hugs and smiles are free. Give them away generously. And remember, artists are incredibly important in our society. We make a difference. You have a great day. Ciao.